Hello YouTube, in this video I will walk you through the latest open beta build for the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T. If you go to settings menu you can find I am using open beta 13 for OnePlus 3 and this is same as open beta 4 for the OnePlus 3T. So it is based on Android version 7.1.1 and uh, this is like a very good update over the last build with so many new features have been added to this build so I will definitely recommend this one so first of all let's go ahead and check out the all the features changes happened and first of all all, all new launcher added support for the shortcuts on 7.1.1 so this is the all new launcher so here you can see if you swipe up from the home screen the menu will be opening this is just like a pixel launcher in Nexus so here you can see all the menus all the icons and then if you search for the any apps you can do it from here and we have this pinch zoom option so if you pinch and zoom out the settings will be coming up and then here is the wallpaper options widgets and then set in settings you can see app shortcuts so app shortcuts means these are the features added into the android version 7.1.1 so if you press and hold you can see the different options that can be visible for the supported apps so here is the phone here is the uh, messaging apps and then in chrome you'll get incognito that kind of shortcuts key shortcuts in mail you'll get all these things and then in drive you'll get all these things youtube you'll get so these are like uh, some of the apps that are supported for this long press shortcuts those settings will come so that is the main thing and then uh, redesigned app drawer as mentioned redesigned ui for launcher settings simplified settings and then added a status bar icon option for display real-time network speed so if you look at the status bar here you can see the network speed in the notification area if you want to turn it off you can always go to settings menu and then go to status bar and then down you will get display network speed you can turn it off from there and then added notification denoising this is to allow priority level uh, designed so th there is a new option added in the notification so if you go to notifications you can see all the notification related settings here you can customize for each and every app from there and then added gaming do not disturb mode so this is a very handy tool so if you go to advance from here you can see gaming mode if you turn it on for some applications for example i would like to turn it on for the mx a player so if when a video is playing or when a movie is playing uh, the home button all the capacity buttons will be deactivated so I'll show you that so here I'm trying trying to open a movie so now I'm not able to access the home button so I need to swipe down from the notification area and then click on this one to turn it off then I can use the capacity uh, buttons so it will give us a chance to not mess up with the display works we are doing so that is a good thing and then added automatic night mode so if you go to settings menu display night mode then you can turn it on automatically or you can specify the time like a turn on when the sun sets turn off when the sun rises or if you want to customize the timing you can do it from here so we have overall control over this night mode option so it is pretty good and then here is one more cool feature which is called added secure box for file encryption which is integrated into the file manager so if you go to the file manager oxynoise file manager you can see an option called secure box here if you tap so it will ask for the a pin you need to if you are using for the first time you need to uh, give the pin number so um, i didn't put anything here so if i want to put any file i should go to the file and then I can select any file you want and then go to settings menu here is an option called set as secure so once i done that operation completed you will move to the secure box you won't be able to see from the outside so if you go here opening again so you can see all these files so this is how you can use it so if you want to remove from there just to remove it it will be gone so it's more like Knox in samsung devices the secure box introduced in the oxygenoise which is a really good feature and then optimized text latency optimized camera eis for videos improved contacts management with linking and merge functions so if you go to contacts you can see a uh, contacts manager here and then it will give some suggestions suggest, suggested merges options are there so you can play with 
it gives more control over the contacts. And then there is one option called added QQ pay option for the in, for, for India. This will be allowing you to use the QR based QQ payment. So if you go to settings menu, security fingerprint QQ pay. And if you install any of these applications for for now, I'll go to security and fingerprint QQ pay. So it will if you want to uh, uh, turn it off or for the turn it on for the screen of QQ pay, I can open, open here. So even when the screen is off, press and hold the home button will directly open the app. So I, from here, I'll select the app which I needed. I'm using Paytm. So I'll select that one. You can see the instruction video also. So once the display is off, uh, when I press and hold this home button, it will directly open the Paytm. So if I want to turn it on for the QQ on, so I'll do this so you can see it's directly open in the paytm and then it lasts for the payment and then i can scan the qr code so this is this they made it very simple i will turn it off for the um, screen on so that i can use for the google assistance so that is there which is a really good addition and then uh, some bug fixes and general improvements and there are um, some other features like the call recording has been implemented so if you am trying to call anyone, so I can see a call button here, I can call, using that I can call record. So the call recording has been finally added to the auction noise, which is a good thing. And if you're talking about the performance, here is the, here is the benchmarking score I've got. And talking about the battery life it is um, just like the latest I mean, last build there's no changes I, i'm getting around three and a half to four hours of screen on time so that is also pretty neat so this i would like to tell you that you should try this one because it comes with so many features and uh, this will this will also also fix the um, roaming problem that you're facing if you're trying to download any application from the play store value roaming if you're not working this will fix because it happened for me it fixed for me in this build so this build is highly recommended for all of you guys just go ahead and flash it and thank me later. that's it guys thanks for watching please subscribe for